Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you this nice looking keyboard that I received recently from this company called New Key. This is the Rymac mechanical keyboard. You know my channel usually features art related products. This is not really art related but this is a piece of art by itself so that's why I agreed to doing this review. At the time of this review, this keyboard is currently listed on Indiegogo. The company is trying to raise funds. They are doing a crowdfunding campaign to raise funds to make this keyboard. And this is the Indiegogo page. I will put the link to this campaign in the video description below so that you can check it out. So they are looking to raise 20,000 US dollars and they have already uh, surpassed their goal. So Looks like this project is successful, it's go ahead. This keyboard is Bluetooth and wireless, so if you need to connect this to your computer, you do the usual Bluetooth pairing. This is supported on Windows and Mac OS. Since it's Bluetooth, it runs on battery. The battery is built in. If you need to recharge the battery, they have provided a charging, a USB charging cable for it. When you take the keyboard out from the box the first time, you have to fix it up because it comes with this bracket here, this metal bracket and this metal handle here is really easy to fix up. You just uh, push this in and push this onto the back. There is actually a slot here that you can uh, put it in. So this is not just for decoration, you can basically just uh, put your mobile phone here so you can type while looking at your mobile phone. This can support iPads, the 9.7 inch iPads and also the iPad mini. I guess if you want to put a really large tablet on the support here, you can certainly do so, but it's going to wobble slightly if you sort of touch it. So definitely um, possible, but not really recommended. This retro looking keyboard looks really good, reminiscent of those old typewriters. The mechanical keys, they are very tactile. They are quite um, noisy, so if you are a graphic designer or if you are someone who works in an office environment with other colleagues, this is going to be a bit too noisy. I brought this to my office and used it for about 10 seconds and um, I couldn't stand the noise in the office environment. But right now I'm at home, so um, in the comfort of my own room, no problem at all. I mean, some of you might probably like uh, this kind of uh, tactile feeling, the sounds coming out from a keyboard like this. This is a backlit keyboard, and not just that, when you type on the keys, they will give you visual feedback with the lights coming on. You can choose from different lighting modes. I have just closed my curtains in the room, so now my room is quite dark. I'm going to show you the different modes available. So let's start with this one. So with this mode, the keys will light up when you press on them. Let's switch to the next one. This is sort of like a wave. When you type on it, nothing happens. The pattern will just keep going on and on. And this looks like a circular pattern. And this is sort of a randomized pattern, like Christmas lights. Here we have um, sort of like a flowy pattern from left to right. And this is, let's see, oh, this is the backlit uh, mode. So if you are typing at night, this will probably be the mode to choose from because um, when you turn it off like this, the keys are not lighted. This is the ripple mode. So whenever you press a key, the light will just uh, ripple out. All right, so those are the different modes available. I personally like this mode because um, this is really quite cool and it's not as flashy compared to the other modes. Here's a closer look at the individual keys. These are mechanical keys, so you can actually sort of pull out the key. And that's the light beneath. The lighting effects are really quite cool. I know RGB lighting effects are all the rich right now, but thankfully here, 
we just have white light. Although it would be cool if you have the option to choose between white light or RGB lighting. Now this keyboard is available in two different colors. One is this with the black glossy body with sort of like rose gold keys. The other option is this, the white body with the orange keys. This looks pretty nice as well. Some functions are built into the keys, for example with these three buttons. These are for Bluetooth pairing. You can pair this keyboard with up to three devices. I have paired this to my Windows computer, Mac OS, and also my phone. The other buttons here, they have multimedia functions like um, play, forward, pause. Here on the right side of the keyboard, this is where the layout is a bit different compared to other keyboards that I have used. The home button is here, just right beside the backspace. With other keyboards, the backspace is all the way to the far right. So I do find that sometimes when I type, when I want to backspace, when I want to delete something, I would accidentally press the home button because my muscle memory is to press the button to the far right. But here in the layout, um, they have introduced this um, column here. So it will take some time to get used to this keyboard. We have pitch up and pitch down. This is a nice touch here with the pitch down label upside down. And here at the bottom, you can control the backlighting. This keyboard, uh, as mentioned earlier, this is made for Mac and also for Windows. So if you are using Mac, this would be the command key. And here there is a function key. This lever here, this allows you to change from the Bluetooth mode to the wired mode. But this is a bit weird because now I'm using it as Bluetooth. Obviously, it should be in Bluetooth. If I want to change it to the wired mode, it flashes a bit. It tells me that it has changed mode. but you do need to connect the cable to the back here. And uh, let's take a look at the back. We have two charging ports, one on the left and one on the right. This is where you put the bracket. It just slides in and it's very easy to take out. So do not, do not grab this and grab this, grab your keyboard using this. It will just lift this up. And on this side, this scroll knob here, this allows you to control the volume. So this is quite handy. And now let's pair the keyboard to my phone. I'm going to use button number three, F3. The keyboard appears as MX520 and it's connected. Let's type something. The typing experience is really quite good. The tactile feeling is fantastic. Let's see if I can do the usual text editing shortcuts like shift selecting the key, moving the cursor around, shift selecting. With the home button, I can select the whole line with one uh, keyboard shortcut. So this is, I mean, having a physical keyboard like this when it's typing, it's really much faster compared to typing with the thumb. Let's see what happens when I type the command key on the Android phone. So it brings up this um, Google helping thing. Oh, it's able to read uh, what I'm saying. So let me just turn this off. I'm going to press escape. Escape again, escape. So I go back to the home screen. Let me turn the knob here to see if I can control the volume. Oh, I can control the volume. So this is very useful. And now I'm going to pair this with my Surface Pro 2017. I've got to say that using this keyboard with Windows, it feels a bit weird because of the layout of the modifier keys. This keyboard is actually using some sort of a Mac OS layout where we have the command key, option key, and the control key. But on Windows, uh, let me just show you how a Windows keyboard should look like. This is a wireless Bluetooth keyboard for Windows. So we have the control key on the far left, function, Windows, alternate. Here we have control, alternate, and this will be the Windows key. So um, again, it will take some time to get used to it typing on this with the layout. 
And since I already have this keyboard out, let me just show you how thick this Rymac keyboard is compared to this Logitech keyboard. So it's quite thick and it's substantially heavier. So this is not something I uh, would bring around with me. I would probably bring around this to the office and back home. But this one, if I bring it to the office, I would just put it there. But I'm not going to use this in the office because it's a bit too noisy. Okay, now I'm going to um, use this keyboard to do some graphic design things to see how uh, it can handle the shortcut buttons. I'm using Photoshop right now, so let me Control O to open a file that I have just downloaded. All right, I'm going to zoom in. Well, notice the screen redraw. All right, um, I first had a mistake with my keyboard shortcut, so I'm trying to Control Alternate Minus to zoom down, but I press the Command key. So it will take some uh, time to get used to it. So the keyboard uh, shortcuts, they do work well. But uh, again, it's a bit noisy. That's to be expected. All right, um, now I'm going to use the right side. So sometimes when I use my mouse, I will need to zoom in and zoom out using the shortcuts on this side of the keyboard. And this is where it presents me with a problem. This key here, this is not control, this is actually a Windows key. So if I want to hit control minus to zoom down, I am not able to do that. Or control plus to zoom up, I am not able to do that. This is the Windows plus mode. All right, so if I need to zoom using keyboard shortcut, I will need to press control and plus. So it's, I'm not able to do that because my hand, I, I cannot stretch from control to plus here. So this is something to take note of if you are thinking of using a keyboard like this on Windows to do um, graphic design work or basically any type of work that requires you to use shortcuts on the right side. Because when you're using this with Windows, this is a Windows key, not a control key. And now I have just paired this with my iPad. Let me just move this out of the way. Let's test out the keyboard shortcuts. Command tab to switch between apps. So it definitely works. I don't really have any problems using this keyboard on Mac or on iOS because this layout, this is a Mac layout. Overall, this is a really beautiful keyboard. I love the retro design, the build quality is quite solid. Now the things that I do not like, well, this thing here, this is a bit loose. There is no way to, for me to sort of secure it. Anyway, if you do not use your handphone or your iPads on this, you can actually just um, keep this away. The other thing that I do not like is you can change this from Bluetooth to white mode, but there is no way for you to tell at a glance which mode you are currently in. So for example, if you are looking at the keyboard right now, I don't know whether this is in Bluetooth mode or in wired mode. So that's all for my review today. If you are interested to get a keyboard like this for yourself, just visit the link below in the video description to the Indiegogo page. I believe they are selling limited quantities of this keyboard at early bird discounts. Anyway, I'm not too sure about pricing, just visit the Indiegogo page. Thanks for watching, see you in the next video, bye!